everyone, Marose Dilla here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami weekly vlog. In fact, this is the official Art Basel vlog. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so like I said, this is the official Basel vlog. I did include like day one in the previous vlog, but we're going hard. Today is Thursday, December the 1st. I have, I don't know, maybe like six or seven events today. So it's gonna be a really fun day. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Um, I flew in this morning from New York. I was in New York for the tree lighting ceremony at Rockefeller Center, which was super fun. But yeah, now we're back and we're ready to Basel. So today is a Jean-Paul Gaultier day. You guys know I'm a fan. Um, I really like his vintage dresses, but this is one of his newer dresses that I got from Farfetch. If you guys watched the previous haul, you would have seen everything I'm wearing during Basel. And this dress is so stunning. I'll link it down below. I'm wearing a small, um, or no, I'm wearing a medium and I love it. The earrings are Chanel, some of my favorites. Um, for the bag, I'm going to go with this. Bottega Veneta because it kind of brings out the green. It's really fun. And then I'm going to go with my orange Lido Mules. I'll show you the full look in a moment. But first thing on the agenda today is to head to Faina Hotel and pick up my Prada look. Prada is dressing me for an activation, a campaign that they have going starting tomorrow. And so I have to go pick up my look. Hopefully it's a good look. They said they weren't able to give me like none of my top three picks so we're gonna see y'all hopefully it works out um and then try to quickly get a bite to eat before really starting all of the events around four five ish um and i also have a campaign to shoot today with a spirits brand so yeah very very fun day um oh you guys i got some new shoes in let me show you these new shoes that i got in from Hanifa, oh, they're so good, look. So you guys know I love a black sandal, but these have like fur around the bottom. They are very, very comfortable and really cool. Like I think they would be great for Art Basel. Um, and I think they also come in another color, like maybe a blue or a green, I can't remember. But these are everything and I love them. So if you guys are interested, I'll link them down below. Black owned business very cool i think i have something i'm wearing from hanifa later on in the week and maybe i'll pair it with these new in shoes um okay so let me quickly finish getting ready and then i'll show you the full look and then we will head to pick up my prada look all right guys so here is the full look for today again um jean paul gaultier dress chanel earrings Lido mules kind of bring out the orangey red in the dress. It's very comfortable, which is great. So I'm going to be running around quite a bit. And the bag just kind of brings out the green. So I think it's a, a super cute look. And it's raining, so yeah, we're not thrilled about the rain. But what are you going to do? Let's choose a fragrance. I think we're going to go with Old Faithful Baccarat Rouge 540 mixed with Lalaba Tenor. We'll use this one as the base. Ooh. So I have a special helper this week. Meet my assistant, Maria. <laughs> I was trying to put on heels so I don't look that short. You're, you're tiny. Too. You're tiny. She'll be here helping me during Basel, doing all of the things that a creative <laughs> genius does. Yes, it shall be fun. Okay. Maria and Mo take Basel. <laughs> Period.
on a scale of one to ten, how hungry? A twelve. I'm hangry. <laughs> Not myself, but hangry.
All right, guys, second look of the day or the evening. It is another Jean-Paul Gaultier look. This is from his most recent collaboration. I absolutely love it. I paired it with these earrings from Simon Miller, um, this bag, and my Loewe sandals. We're gonna head to Tiffany's, hopefully get to check out a Virgil installation. Um, and then we're heading to dinner and then I have a concert. It's a lot going on, but this is the look. I'm gonna try and link everything in the upcoming days, but I feel cute. Hey y'all, so I thought I would give you a little update on what's happened so far. We're actually in a car heading to the Tiffany & Co event in Miami Design District. I think they opened up like a new store where they have an activation. Um, so the first thing we went to was with Hennessy. They had Cafe 11 where they had a bunch of like talks with some of their VPs and marketing team and just influential people in the Hennessy space. Um, that was pretty cool. Went, had a few drinks, um, and then we headed over to Scope, um, which actually I work with Grey Goose and they got us tickets to check out the contemporary art. Um, which was really cool. I actually didn't know that that existed. Um, I've only ever seen art at the Miami Convention Center. So I didn't know that they had a contemporary art show. And it was really, really cool. The venue was right on the water on Ocean Drive. Um, we got to check out some of their activations. And we also headed over to the Grey Goose um, activation where they had drinks, um, a specialty cocktail menu. They had a little lounge where you could relax and also um, a place where you can take fun like boomerangs and photos. And I did a little work for them um, that's probably already up on my Instagram. So you can head on over there and check it out. So yeah, we quickly ran back. There's so many events tonight. Like I'm trying to make it to everything that I was invited to, but traffic is horrible. Um, there are so many people in town and then the cars just take a long time. So I changed into this second Jean-Paul Gaultier look this is from his most recent collection I absolutely love it like it's giving art it's giving everything I wanted to give I paired it with these Simon Miller earrings and of course my balloon Loewe sandals I'll give you I'll give you guys a better view later on um, so now we're just headed to the Miami Design District to check out Tiffany's hopefully we'll be able to make it to the Virgil installation quickly and then we have a dinner um, a sushi dinner at Balligan's and then I have an event with Meta. So it's gonna be a long night y'all And I'm already tired But if you're wondering what light I'm using it's my light from Amazon and it's linked down below and Maria has been helping me out She has been getting all of the content you have been seeing and thank God for her because I don't know how I would do all this by myself Like this is a lot This is a lot. This is like more than fashion week I'm Trying to like make it. I feel yeah. like it is. This is it's given a lot, but it is fun. Um, I didn't have a chance to check out too much of the art at the Contemporary Art at Scope on the beach, but our tickets are good for every day, so I think we'll probably head back there. Um, they did have a lot of black art, which I love, so yeah. We'll definitely head back and check that out. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update while we're in the car heading to Miami Design, and we'll check back in once we're at Tiffany & Co.
morning everyone welcome to day two of the art basel vlog um i think i last updated you guys when we were on our way to tiffany and co party which was very very fun they had cute little places to take pictures and to check out their diamond they had this one canary yellow diamond that was huge i did run into the kensington gray girls the yusufs karen Bridget, um and we all caught up which was really really fun it was just a vibe cool party that's usually like what basel is all about i did get to check out some of the tiffany's pieces as you guys know i bought this tiffany um uh ring not too long ago and i love it i think i'm gonna get the matching uh bracelet soon um so yeah that was really fun i got to meet the tiffany team as well um and then after that we went to a dinner at balligan's which is like a sushi place the food was actually really good and it was fun and i ran into a few friends um and then afterwards i was supposed to go to a concert with meta um for doja cat but i couldn't get in <laughs> because they closed off the doors i could hear her performing i'm really surprised she like went on before 11 p.m which is like unheard of here in miami but i came home and now we are here it is bright and early and i'm putting on my prada look i'm gonna head to the beach for their activation because i have to do a campaign for them for their latest fragrance which i'm sure you've seen all over social media should be fun they sent over well, I actually went and picked up this look. What does this do? Does it just hang like that? I don't know. So yeah, I have a bathing suit on under here. They also sent over some cute sandals, which will be great for the beach, like cork um, platform heels that wrap up. Super cute. And so me and Maria are gonna head over to their activation on the beach. We're gonna get some shots in. Um, and then I have to come back here and change and get ready for a lunch with Meta. I don't really know what else we have going on today, but I think I quickly want to paint my nails. Because so I don't know if this bright cobalt blue is going to go with the perfume bottle. And they're kind of uh, particular about things like that. So it's going to be a fun day. I'm wearing Dragon Girl by NARS on my lips and just did a very easy breezy look. I'm gonna put on the shoes and I'll show you guys the full look. It's super basic, very beachy, but it should go with the theme. All right, check in soon. All right guys, so here is the look. Sorry, I'm trying to let my nails dry. So these are the Prada shoes. These are really cute and they're actually really comfy. And I like the lace up. The lace up is leather. It has like Prada on the front there, super cute. And then this is just a little dress with like lace here in the middle and on the sleeves and of course it has that little Prada symbol there I'm wearing a bathing suit under here so this is kind of like I'm gonna work this as a cover-up for my content and we are all set we're gonna head over to the beach where they have set up an activation it's very like it's right by the Ritz on the beach so should it be fun Maria is gearing up to create some amazing content for me and I believe in her. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. We're on the move. I'm looking up what I have to do <laughs> for Prada. It's fine because it'll be up today. So it'll always already be on the feed. I have to do a camera. <laughs>
all of these I get them out before my car comes to get me in 40 minutes all right guys back home and getting myself together quickly had to shoot that content for Prada it was so cool I saw a ton of friends there I saw my girl Farah Farah Pink on Instagram as well as Lisa Lisa D NYC as well as Cass um, and yeah it was fun I got the shots unfortunately it's due today so I'm like uploading things and my car actually just arrived to take me to the mail lunch i am working with meta so yeah it just arrived and i have not uploaded the photos yet i still have to do stories and upload those and somehow send them so they can approve them um before five and i really just don't know how i'm gonna do it like i i just don't know it's it's a lot <laughs> trying to do all of these things and a lot of brands the turnaround time is super quick so i changed into this dress from marnie you would have seen it in the wet i'm wearing for art basel vlog before this one love this dress it's so fun plus it's giving meta or facebook it's the blue um i'm gonna pair it with my chloe sandals um and my dior bag and we are gonna head out and I really need to download all of these photos beforehand. So the photos came out really good. I do have to edit them. I might need to step away from Meta for a minute and try and get this work done. But I'm also working with Meta, so I have work to do for them. So it's just a balancing act, but I'm just happy to be working. And I'll check back in to show you the full look and then we'll head to the Meta House. All right guys, so here's my look for today, a little bit of color play. I love this look. The dress is from Marnie, and the shoes are Chloe. They are platforms, but very comfortable. Um, and I just love the blue and yellow, and I just kind of matched it a little bit with my um, Christian Dior bag. I was trying to find my yellow bag, but it's too small. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the look for the day, hanging out with Meta, and I'll take you guys with me. Let's go. virtual meal with headsets on we won't be able to see the food they just taught us how to hold this little cup so that the food can just be into our mouth so apparently this is how we're gonna eat food like three five four hundred years in the future I don't know but we each get a headset you guys know 
already love the MetaQuest headset. And these are my dining partners. <laughs> with Spring Hill they have like a show here it's really cool I just saw some pieces from Raina you guys know I love Raina she's great um, and I just love how they set it up new day what day of Basel it is I couldn't tell you but today is Saturday um, woke up super well not super early but up early to shoot some campaigns um, I'm doing something for three brands that I'm trying to shoot this morning kind of get it out of the way and then we're gonna head over to the convention center to check out the art um, I think we'll pop by design as well to check out the art and uh, then this evening I have a party with Bentley and a the everyday people party 
which should be really really fun um so yeah i just did a quick easy face i have on this um hanifa dress that i shot for my first campaign of the day which is with so de janeiro i think it'll already be up by the time this video goes live so it'll be over on my tiktok so you can check me out over there um let's see I'm going to shoot the rest of my campaigns and then I'm going to get ready to head the to the convention center. I'm going to take you guys with me, show you the art, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Last night, I'm trying to think where I left off with you guys. I think we ended up going to the Meta House where it's basically just an outdoor venue with interactive art installations that you can like open scan a barcode it'll open up an instagram and you can make the art actually come to life with the filter it's actually really really cool um they had incredible food trucks out there tacos corn churros um a pool different djs i got to see coco and breezy dj um yeah fun with friends lots of drinks lots of art to see they had a, an art installation there as well um, which was with in collaboration with Spring Hill, which was pretty cool. I saw some of Reyna's art there and I saw her as well. She looked great. Um, so yeah, it was really, really fun. They had concerts there as well. I didn't stay for the concert. It's just, I'm tired. Y'all, Basel is like, it's intense and the traffic is horrible. So yeah, I had a good time yesterday with Meta. We got to do like this virtual dine with um the headsets on and it was just crazy the food was like futuristic food of the future um infused with like an entree and sides into one little pot of food and everything was actually really good they say that they go around and do the the arrow dines um like around the world and so i think there's one in new york coming up soon i want to try and like get to new york and do that one all right so enough of catching you up um actually my Prada Beauty uh not the campaign is not live yet it should be up today but um they already posted me on their story so that's cool so all right I will check back in, in with you guys soon let me show you this full dress because I don't think I ever showed you this dress before I've never like worn it for anything so let me show it to you so here's the dress. It's from Hanifa's, um, not the latest collection, but the one before that when I went to her show in New York. Um, and it's super long. I might have to have it hem, but it's so beautiful. It looks like, you know, like a little sherbet or sorbet, however you like to pronounce it. But super cute. I need to find some place to wear it. It is a little bit sheer though, but I mean, it's Miami. All right guys, finally finished getting my Prada post up. And I have a Grey Goose post to get up today too. So I'm going to have to post something in between those two posts. But I put on this Hanifa dress. You would have seen it in the previous vlog. Love it. We're going to go quickly have lunch at Esme. You guys know I love Esme rooftop. So good. I'm going to meet some friends. And then we're going to head over to check out the art. Um, probably walk around for an hour, hour and a half or so. Come back here, rest, and get ready for two parties I have later. So, La Pima, which is a really cool sunglass brand. They actually sent me some sunglasses to wear during Basel. And I forgot which ones I requested. But I wanted to open this up with you guys and show you them. I'll link them down below. Um, I have another pair of their sunglasses that are really cool. It's like a green leather case, really nice. And these are purple, so they kind of match my outfit. So I might actually take these today for when I like shoot this look. So yeah, for this fit, I'm gonna pair it with my 
Moeve balloon sandals um, because these are very comfortable and I can actually wear them all day even if I'm walking around. Um, I wouldn't recommend wearing heels to the convention center but I did it last year <laughs> and I was fine. So yeah, definitely try and find like a platform because it's a lot of art and you will be walking around for quite a bit of time. So that's my look for today. I'm gonna pick a fragrance. I think I'm gonna go with uh, Joseph Duclos, Saint Clair. Got this during Paris Fashion Week. Smells very sweet, but not like sickly sweet and sophisticated and just like really dainty and pretty. Gonna mix it with a little Baccarat, which just smells like rich incarnate. And a twinge of Tay Noir to bring it down, give it a little more masculinity. So yeah, for me, it's all about just playing with scents. Sometimes it turns out good. Most of the time it turns out good. <laughs> I was gonna say sometimes it doesn't turn out good, but yeah, these are really cute. I don't think they go though, so maybe we'll wear these tomorrow. All right guys, let's go to lunch and then let's go check out the art. Let me show you the full look. All right guys, so this is the full look. It's a Hanifa dress. First time I'm wearing it, perfect occasion. I had it tailored. Um, Loewe balloon sandals. I have on Dior on my lips. I don't think I'm gonna wear earrings because the dress is doing a lot, the hair is doing a lot, the lips are doing a lot, the shoes are doing a lot. I don't think I need nothing else. But that's the look today for a little bosling. And I will show you guys some of the art. Let's go. waiting for a car and we're about to go see some pork. I've had three margaritas. We can tell. I'm ready to experience the art the way an artist was when they created it. Maybe some things will be 3D. Maybe some things through an art lens. <laughs> through an artist <laughs> artist lens. Artist lens. <laughs> We put the art in the art Basel. We're here with a subscriber. This is Kimberly. And she looks amazing. So excited to be here at our Basel. <laughs> Having such a good time. It is gorgeous in Miami. I live in New York. Oh, in welcome. Harlem. In Harlem. Welcome, welcome. <laughs>
right guys, just finished up checking out Art Basel, the art at the Miami Convention Center, as well as Miami Design with all of the furniture and things. It was really, really cool. Everybody liked my outfit today and so many people <laughs> stopped to take pictures of my shoes, which was cool. So now we're waiting on an Uber. We're gonna grab some food. We're gonna head back to my place, do a little bit of work, and then get ready for two parties I have tonight. I'm, I'm going to a party with Bentley and then I'm going to everyday people so it should be really fun we're probably gonna try to get some night shots in which i don't have a lot of so that'll be fun as well and i'll take you guys with me but i hope you enjoyed the art if you can come definitely come if you come to art basel you have to actually come see the art that's what this is all about and it's probably the coolest part i showed a bit of clips i didn't want to show too much but I could have been in the convention center for hours. It's so huge. Miami design is a little bit smaller. Um, and they even have like designer brands who do booths. Bottega had a booth, which was really cool. Last year, Fendi had a booth. So yeah, definitely check it out. freshen my makeup up we ended up going to Yardbird to get a quick bite to eat after checking out the art show and Miami design it was really cool um so yeah in and out home everyone loved my dress um I'll be sure to well I don't know if it's still available but yeah everyone loved my entire outfit so I feel really good um, I'm about to head to the Bentley party. I'm meeting up with Rhea. And then I have Everyday People party. I don't know if I'm going to make it to that one though. It's just so much. So much to do. But I would definitely take you guys to Bentley with me. And show you the party. So let's go. Went to the Bentley party, super fun. Met a ton of people. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, I think his name is Inus. He does like um, home tours and mostly in California. I got to meet him and it was great. Um, met up with Rhea. We just all had a really fun time. Um, they unveiled three Bentleys that were done with the help of artists. And the final one that they unveiled was by, I think they call him the Shoe Doctor um but yeah he does a lot of custom shoes so he did the final car which was really cool 
I thought I was gonna make it to everyday people. I'm looking online and it looks packed. And honestly, it's gonna take me an hour to get from the beach to Wynwood where this party is and I'm gonna have to stand in line and I am tired. So guess what y'all, guess what, guess what? That's it, it's a wrap on Art Basel. For me, it was a lot of work. Um, I did three brand campaigns. I did a campaign with Meta, I did a campaign with Grey Goose, and I did a campaign with Prada Beauty. This is my first time ever working with Prada and for it to be a campaign and something they wanted to pay me for um, was incredible. I really, really enjoy it working with them and their team, as well as Grey Goose and Meta. Um, head on over to my Instagram to kind of check out all of the photos from Basel. They will be on my Instagram and I probably will upload a few TikToks as well. Um, I had an amazing time at all of the events, the Tiffany & Co event, um, the dinner at Balagans, um, the Porsche event, the event with La Prairie, um, I just did so much, it's way more than I did last year and a lot of it was paid, so that's incredible. Um, and maybe next year we'll do more, we shall see. But Basel is always a good time. Everything you have seen in today's video, all of my outfits, every place that I went will be linked down below in the description box so you can check it out, just expand, you can shop away, um, see everything that I linked, all the places that I went, all the places that I ate, um and check all those things out i would love for this video to be a resource for the next time you would like to visit art basel all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure it was super long if you could help your girl out and give me a thumbs up that would be amazing i would love to get 5,000 thumbs up on this video my last art basel video got over 100,000 views so let's see what we can do with this one all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I met so many of you during Basel. Thank you so much for coming up and speaking. You guys are incredible. And yeah, if you ever see me, please say hello. I would love to chat with you. And thank you for supporting me. All right, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Until then, good night.